man, this Hackett guy needs to run for office again. Paul Hackett, I don't know if you guys saw the story. Guy, weird story. I'm not sure I could even quite decipher it. Somebody smashes into his house with a car? Three guys, uh, there was a car accident at his house. They ran into one of a fence, his fence, and he came out with a loaded uh, rifle. rifle. Yeah, and he subdued them. He got all three of them on the ground, called the cops, and they were arrested. And apparently, they, you know, one of them had brass knuckles on him. Uh, I think maybe another one had a gun. And uh, so he comes out looking like a total hero. But the minute, the, if, when I first saw the story, I thought they had the rifle and he subdued them. And when I thought that, and I thought, oh, that's it. Okay, Bornovich stepped down. No, the, He's the new senator here from Ohio. It's over. Nobody's beating it, right? They, the, by the way, the, the, guy, for president. the guys did not have a gun. They had the brass knuckles, and that's the concealed weapon that they're talking about. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. So, but then when I found out that it was actually him with the gun, and then he subdued them, and they only had the brass knuckles, okay, that becomes a little less heroic. And in fact, he's in a little bit of, the might be in a little bit the of grand trouble. grand jury is uh, looking into it. Um, but they apparently, the, no one seem doesn't seem like it's going to, it's going to go anywhere. See, because you're not supposed to, unless your life is threatened, you're not supposed to, you know, come back at them with a weapon, you know. And so Hackett says, first of all, I never pointed the weapon at them. I never had the safety off, and I never, uh, you know, had my finger on the trigger. And he says, look, I've done this 200 times in Iraq. I know how to get a couple of guys on the ground, and I know how to do this. And Paul Hackett, of course, ran for Congress and briefly in the Democratic primary for Senate in Ohio. And uh, he did surprisingly well in the Congress race in a very Republican seat. He almost won it. Uh, and he's a very plain-talking guy. We've had him on the show a number of times. And he's also, of course, an Iraq veteran. And he's a true tough guy. <laughs> and and so, but despite the fact that he might be in a little bit of trouble, whatever, he, I'll tell you how this story plays. This story plays awesome. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I want to know more. He didn't get them at the time of the accident. It, it looks to me like they, 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 it's a curve, and they missed the curve and hit his fence and then drove off, and he ran down the street with a rifle and got them out of the car. Okay, here's who's not going to love that story. Libros. Here's who's going to love that story. Americans. Okay, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying liberals aren't Americans, okay? Say so the small you know, group of liberals, and that might include Ben, that might even include me, that might include some of you guys. Might be like, hey, I'm not sure that's the right way to handle it, right? But uh, a lot of Americans think like, yeah, you chase him down with a rifle, and you get him, and you subdue him, and you can lock him up. Yeah, you, you want to come to my house? Want to come to my house? Yeah. Yeah, no, I understand. They, <laughs> they, 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 they well, he wants to go get him, but they, they, they may. I, I just look. I like Paul. I'm just saying. There's uh -huh. part of the story that made me think, oh man, that's crazy. Uh -huh. Libra. I mean, I mean, they drove away. I mean, when you, get, you protect your wife, they're gone. For the love of God! No, 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 they're not gone. I got a rifle. I'm <laughs> bringing them back. See, but that's the part of the story I can't understand. I mean, how could they have driven off and he chased them down? He followed fluid from the car. Like maybe oh, they, this they, guy's nuts and he's awesome. No, he's like Rambo. He's like a liberal Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hackett told police uh, he was carrying an AR-15. He said one round was in the chamber. He usually has 28 rounds in the magazine. Told police he did wow. not point the weapon at the three men, didn't touch the car. Safety was on, never put his finger on the trigger. Followed a trail of fluid left by the car, and the vehicle stopped in a driveway. So they may have gone on and then gotten and like stopped the car to see like how he much He tracked their ass down. How much damage? point of it, step down. You're done. Hackett told police he hopped out of his truck. Oh, he drove. That's how he Oh, and then right. he, he, he was armed. He told the boys, get the F uh, out of the car and on the ground. Didn't touch the vehicle. He pointed the weapon at them. Let's get real. I, the, okay, I, look, I like Paul Hackett. And he's pissed that the the, viola the secrecy of the grand jury has been violated here, et cetera, et cetera. And if he says he didn't point the weapon, I'd like to believe him. But he says they saw the weapon. Here's what's funny. Yeah, here's how they saw it. Pointed at them. Yeah, he, <laughs> said, he told the boys, get the F out of the car and on the ground. He said he didn't touch the vehicle with the rifle, maintained his distance, I knew they saw I was armed, he said. Uh, uh, he said he had done this about 200 times, as you mentioned, Jenk, in Iraq, but this time there was not a translation problem. <laughs> oh, Americans love this guy. I'll tell you right now, okay. Uh, see, what happened was Sherrod Brown just beat uh, Mike DeWine as the senator uh, in Ohio. Of course, Ohio as a second Republican senator, jo uh, uh, Voinovich. And Voinovich is considered moderate and sometimes even acts moderate. 
Uh, but, of course, 98% of the time, I'm sure he votes with this crazy president, or used to before these elections, and now I'm sure he's completely scared out of his mind and will probably oppose the president at every turn. Uh, but you run Paul Hackett, the guy who, I mean, he'll follow Voinovich's, you know, tracks down, <laughs> down Ohio. I don't know if he points anything at him, but he'll be like, get the F out of the Congress. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, okay? 